Welcome to the 1980s Gladiator Round Tournament. This is a second round matchup. Lee Haney versus Francis Benfado. This is a tough one to make a call on, to be honest with you. At the end of the day, I am going to give it to Lee Haney. After all, sizes and everything, but it is something. You can't deny Lee Haney is twice as large as poor Francis. Now, to be honest, like I said, I might even lean towards Francis Benfado. Aesthetically, this man is just incredible like a statue. But, of course, like I said, that size Lee Haney is one big, massive man. I think Francis Benfado could have stood to skip a few head days. His head is very large compared to his body. Might hurt his placings a little bit. Who knows? Here in the front double bicep pose, and this point also goes to Lee Haney. He is just too big for poor Ben Fado to deal with. Uh, this is a shame, too, because Francis Ben Fado looks fantastic. What a great bodybuilder. Very underrated. He's right there with Haney. But like I said, look at that massive man compared to the little man. All right, 2 nothing Haney. I may take some criticism for this call, but I am going with Francis Benfado. Lee Haney is in far superior condition when you look closely there. But Francis Benfado is filled out so supreme here. And I think he's fetching a, a slight edge maybe in the lag department when compared to the rest of his, his body there. Lee Haney's legs kind of look tiny. But this is, like I said, I'm going to take some criticism because Lee Haney's front lat spread is outstanding. But look at Francis. My word. I'm giving him a point in this one. I just like his front lat spread that much more than Lee Haney's. This is a pretty obvious one here. Lee is just flattening poor Ben Fado, making it 3-1 to one here. I'm actually surprised Ben Fado was able to get a point on Lee Haney, but hey, I gotta judge it how I call it. 3-1, to one, next pose. And of course, without any doubt, this is another point going to Mr. Haney. Look at the dominance in this pose here. Wow, I don't know if anybody could touch Lee in this pose. His tricep looks like a big giant lobster claw. Fantastic. All right, four to one for Lee Haney. One more point, and this is all over. And much to my surprise, Francis is actually doing quite well for himself here in the rear lat spread. Now, unfortunately for him, Lee Haney is packing uh, just a massive set of wings back there. They just reach out too far, too far. He gets the win. But look at the conditioning. Look at those traps of Francis Benfado, his lower traps in particular. The upper traps definitely goes to Lee Haney. And those lower Latin thirsions, both men are very gifted in that area. If Francis had a little bit more of a V taper here and a little bit more of a wingspan, he may actually be taking Lee Haney because there is no doubt when you look at the glutes, he has an advantage as far as that's concerned. So Lee Haney wins this one, but it was very close in the front, la or the front uh, relaxed position, so we're going to have a look at this rear double bicep just for the hay. And this is a little bit more dominant of a victory for Mr. Haney. Wow, look at that rear double bicep pose. He does need a little bit more conditioning in his Christmas tree area, I believe. But his lats are pushing down so far that it's, it's easy to ignore. And this time in the glute region, Lee is actually scoring ahead. Francis a little bit softer here. This is a little bit later on in his career. He doesn't have a whole lot of good pitchers or any pitchers at all of his rear double by in his younger years. Even that rear lat spread was a little bit later on in his career. So Francis Benfado, I gotta hand it to him. He gave Lee Haney a pretty darn good run for his money for the size of the man. But of course, Lee Haney is your winner and he does advance on in this tournament. Woo! And there remains one last match in the second round of action in this decade. Rich Gaspari versus Lee Labrada. That should be a dandy. Both of these guys play second to Lee Haney many times at the Olympia. So it should be a pretty even matchup. One to look forward to for sure. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day.